Hello everyone, this is Edgar with Joe's Gaming and Electronics and today I'll be showing you how to replace your 14 pin clip on your XM4s. This is for the main wire. We've had a lot of customers recently do repairs on their headphones but when they're putting the clip back into the motherboard or power board, it breaks. You gotta be very careful with it. It's a common thing that happens, happened to me multiple times. So we'll be showing you how to replace that. The tools we'll be using is a 2.0 Phillips, a pry tool, and tweezers you can choose any kind i have two sizes here this one's very skinny this is for breaking off the old clip you will see in the video and this one's for grabbing the wires because my fingers are very big and it's a lot harder to grab these tiny wires you also need your phone to take a photo just in case so you don't you know put the wrong wire in the wrong spot so yeah and we'll get started with the pry tool taken off uh since the right side is already broken we'll go with this this is just our video unit so bad unit that's already broken that we use for videos pop that off it's a couple clips once you pop off one side you can pop off one whole side and then pull it off the other side the clips will come right out use your phillips you got four screws to get underneath there you are the silver screws every other screw is black the silver ones is for taking getting to the other side the black screws are for pulling out the speaker cup itself Hey, this is Joe from The Sauna. If this video brought you value, please support us by buying parts, tools, refurbished electronics, or sending your device in for repairs so we can keep offering you free repair tutorials. Back to the video. Once those screws are out, flip the headphones over. Use your pry tool again. Get right underneath this part. And just a little, don't gotta pull on it too hard. You don't wanna pull on the other side, on the inside part you wanna pull, so why? want to pry up here if you pry up here you have a chance at damaging this ribbon you damage this ribbon you need an outside cup a lot of no-nos there i pulled this off it's easier with that off now this is the part we'll be replacing this clip use your tweezers you can pop this right up like that so what happens with this is when you're playing repairing this hinge swivel right here when you're pulling it through sometimes let's just say it. i'll break it just to show you guys this is what happens. It looks almost normal, right? You can see a little bend in it. It breaks and one of the wires will come off like this or it'll just crack and go this way, not fully. The wire won't fully come out, but there won't be no contact with the wire and the board. So that's what usually happens and there's your issue. So what we wanna do here is offer. Forgot, another tool we'll be using. You don't have to use this. You can find something else to grab it. Vice grip. This is for just holding the main wire in place. So I can, we're holding the new clip in place. I'll make it a lot simpler. We can do this three different ways. Um, what I'm gonna do to make this a lot easier on myself and everyone watching the video is I will be pulling everything off the main board and pulling the main wire out just so I have more reach. I have two screws on the main board. Keep the main board, it's power board. Come on. If every, anything's out of frame, I'm sorry. I'll keep checking the camera to make sure everything's still in the frame. And we can pull off the power board to the side. We got two more screws right here. This is just a simpler way to do it. You can do it a faster way. It's just, it's a little more difficult with everything in the way. Like this, you have a lot more reach and a lot more pull and it's just, it's gonna be a lot easier. You'll see why. Pull the main, board, the main wire underneath the board. Pull it through. Just like that, use your pry tool again. Pop that off, you can move this to the side now. So the easiest way to do this is pull your new clip out. And either use a vice grip or, I, I would recommend this, this is the easiest way to do it by a mile, by 10 miles, by 100 miles. You know, this is just a lot easier way to do it. So we're gonna be pulling them out like this. So we wanna make sure the clip is the same way because you see there's two different sides. I want to make sure the clip is the same way. Face these, let's try to get the focus right. Face these up and out. Place it in the vice grip, just not that far. This where pieces come in handy. That's very kinky work here, okay. You want to put a little pressure, but not too much. Just enough where you feel like you, can, you can't move it. Now we'll be going color for color. You want to make sure your wires are the same or your pin 
is face the same way and you want to start off with one side so it goes one to one one to one one to one if you feel like you might mess up or get confused use your phone take a photo a couple photos of all the colors because a couple of these colors are very similar just one's glossy one's matte but it's harder to tell so what we're going to do here is this one's already out but i see the position is that it's position number three right there but we want to get position one blue one out so you grab your little tweezers and you go underneath and you pull off that then you can pull this wire right out and then you go to this one and you place it in and again this is gonna be hard to tell but the way you want to place it in is you see that little edge on the very top of the wire so see this is it straight on you can't see and then when you move to the side there's a little top part this is why I use the tweezers it's a lot easier to grab the wire place it in there you want to get underneath here and you just want to slowly pry at these little plastic pieces on the bit on the pins itself and then they come off like that well not like that but they'll come off then once that plastic piece cover is off you can pull the wire right out and when you pull the wire out you can tell pull it out and look at how it is there's a little extra on the bottom part it's the part that clips into the new clip so you can I don't know if you can tell in the video let me put it sideways you can tell there's a little slight metal up you want that to be facing down so it clips in once you place it into your new spot you'll feel it click in or you can sometimes hear it but you'll feel it click in and you give it a small little tug or two now this is number three so I use these tweezers they got a better grip to them and you just want to go one one to one don't want to go too fast like pull out two or three because then you might get your colors mixed up if you get one color messed up you will have to go back you'll have to get a new clip and restart the process break that top part off as you can tell pull the clip out boom i use two different types of tweezers because this one's a lot skinnier and can break the plastic without messing anything up and this one just has a stronger grip on the actual wire but let's try using this one for both okay you can it's a little more harder a little harder but and I might be, be making this look difficult, but it's not really that difficult. It's just, it's all little parts. So little parts are always harder to work on. Oh, there's a text. There's annoying and not convenient. And that's one thing about repairing headphones. If you think you can't handle all the little wires and everything, think, think again, because I got very big fingers and hands and these little wires are really hard. All it takes is a tool like this and you make the process a lot simpler and anyone could do it. And again, you just wanna go one for one so you don't get any colors mixed up. That way you don't have to remember any colors as long as you go down the line. See these last two, I'm just gonna pull out together just because I can see gray and then this burnt sienna color. And make sure every time you put one in, you do feel a click and give it a tug. Again, I'm gonna say that to make sure they're in there and just go one by one, give it a small tug, free tuggies. And yep, all of them are in. Throw that old one out, that's how it should look. Like a skeleton, everything's out. You can undo your vice grip. Boom, look at that, clean up that mess, no one saw that. And now you got your new clip in, it looks amazing. Now here's the part where I feel like some people mess up and where I have messed up personally, is getting the clip back into the main wire. So first I go underneath the board like this, nice and easy, can't get through with your fingers, grab tweezers, boom. Place that first, get that screwed down, makes the whole process easier once this is screwed down. Right here, you'll see under the wire, you'll see little grooves, this little area right down here. You wanna make sure you get your wire, your main wire pushed down into there. Don't put too much pressure in your main wire, but it, it should go in like that, fit nice and tight, snug in there. And then on this top part, right underneath, underneath this black and red wire, there's another groove where you put your main wire in and it goes right in there. So now it fits nice and snug. So when you put your main board back on, if this wire is in the way and you screw down the main board, this, this, this main board is very easy to break. It snaps like a twig. So if you put the wires underneath it and you screw it down, you have a chance at ruining your main board and you don't want that. Next, I'll pull this out over, place this down. And here's a little example right here. See how difficult I'm going in and every time I'm going in, something's popping up. That's because the speaker wire underneath was underneath there. I didn't notice it. So you wanna pull that through first like that. And then you wanna place this into the grooves like that. So now when I put one side down, it doesn't have much movement. Might have a little wiggle here, but it doesn't have much movement like before where one whole side would pop up. Also, you wanna make sure We've seen this before. Those not the screw holes. These little ones right here and at the very edge are. And for screwing the main board back in, do not put a lot of pressure on it. As long as you get it there where you feel like you stop, like this is very light and you'll see me stop. Oh, get difficult there, we stop. Battery clip in, next move these aside. So this is the speaker internal wire right here. You see where it's bent? There's a little groove where the other part of it is in. You want that bent part to go straight down into there. So now it's as equal as it used to be. And now when you place the main clip in, you put this down, 
it goes underneath and does an overlap. So it stays in place like it's supposed to. Now we can place the battery back in and place the red and black wire, same thing. They have a bend to them. They go into that same little groove down here where they fit snugly. And then you'll grab your main clip, bend a little bit of wires. And when you place it in, don't just squeeze it in. Make sure it's fully in there and there's nothing in the way. And then you want to go from each side like this, one side of the clip, the other, and at the same time press down like that. If you're pressing down and one side goes in, the other side doesn't go in, you might have already broken the clip. Now place the wire underneath there like that. And these wires are sticking up a little bit, but that's okay. As long as they're not sticking up over this, when the cup goes down, it'll just snugly fit them like down like that. Grab your charger port, put that in. Make sure you barely see the black line out and you know it's all the way in. And then you still got this side to put in. It's as easy. I use the pry tool sometimes, but you can slightly put some pressure on it like this. Get it down right here and then slide in and it clips in by itself. And you can see nothing. It doesn't break. Pretty flexible. Never had one break break on me yet. Well, got out your outside cup. So I want it face like this. Grab the ribbon, place it into there. Put a little pressure down. You'll see it clip in. You won't see any of the metal underneath there that means it's all the way in then i always go with this side first like this i want to place this side first boom make sure it's not sticking up anywhere there should be about i think that's two millimeters of space if it's sticking up like this or you can see anything underneath that means something's in the way if it doesn't you're good put upside down you got your four final screws and if i'm commenting too much just let me know every video i've done i've noticed i speak a lot more than the other text but that's because there's a lot more little things that it's good to mention that you might mess up on just because I've repaired probably like 10,000 headphones at this point and I've made so many mistakes. Oh, don't know how I'm still working here, but you know, you learn from making mistakes and that's why I make these videos and why I try explaining every little detail because if you don't know a little detail, like when I, when I first started and I had repair videos to watch, man, not knowing every detail, you mess up a lot. Once that's in, put this mesh back in flat goes with flat, round goes with round, simple as that. And the ear pad, same thing, flat, goes with flat, round goes with round, boom. But to make this easier, I'll show you a little trick. You can bend it a little bit, get that bottom pin in first, right? and then go to the side and click everything in. See, look at that, perfect. And that is how you repair your 14 pin connector on your XM4s. If you have any questions feel free to comment down below or hit up our support email at joe support at gmail.com i believe and all the tools will be in the description and the parts as well have a wonderful day thanks for watching the video guys if you guys love what we do please support us you guys can click on the links that we have on the end screen you guys can buy our parts sales or service so we can continue to make great videos for you guys for many more years thank you